wide receivers are out wide. So you can see how the quarterback and the running backs form this I. There are a few variations that you can make on the formation while keeping this I, like pulling one of the wide receivers in to be a second tight end, or the fullback can slightly shift to the left or the right side, and this would be called an offset I. One thing to note here is that the quarterback is what we call under center, which means he's directly behind the center. So whenever the center snaps the ball, he's essentially handing the ball to the quarterback. We'll come back to the alternative for being under center in a minute. But right now, let's look at another formation that's pretty similar to the I formation, and this is called the pro set formation, which is similar to the I formation, except that the running backs are positioned to either side of the quarterback in the backfield. And again, we can have a variation on this where the wide receivers are shifted or even line up one way and then go in motion before the play. The next formation is called the single back set, which just means that there is one running back. And so again, there can be a lot of variations that are used. Maybe a team has two tight ends or two wide receivers, or more commonly, one tight end and three wide receivers. And if there are three wide receivers, then this guy here, who isn't at the end of the line and he isn't out wide, he is called the slot receiver, or he's said to be in the slot. The last formation that we'll look at with the quarterback under center is called the trips formation, which also uses three or sometimes four wide receivers. In the trips formation, three wide receivers will line up on the same side of the field. 